So tell me you again, why are there so many food carts in Portland? <laughs> oh, and I ask you why your mouth is full. What? Well, come on now. Okay. There's finish room finish showing time. first, because you know what our parents tell us about eating with your mouth full. What do they tell us? Don't do it. <laughs> How are you not supposed to eat with your mouth full? Like that? <laughs> I'm just saying. I thought you weren't supposed to talk with your mouth full. Oh, that too. <laughs> Carnell. Hey, how you doing? I, I'm good. I'm good. I came to tell you that I have been listening to what you've said. We're going to food carts. All right. We're going and to Portland. Food. Portland has the highest per capita related to food carts in the Hold world. On, are you saying that my facts are right? And I fact check you. It's right. I'm oh, you ready. did fact check it? I did. I did. Yes. I'm ready for this. I'm ready. Go <laughs> back. <laughs> well, okay, so where are we going? Where are we going? We're going to Cartopia. Oh, it's yeah. like oh, oh, one yeah, of the yeah. food carts of food carts. It's so over I've, on Hawthorne. I, I've heard Have of heard Cartopia. Of I've heard of Cartopia. This one is over on Hawthorne. It's just eight minutes away. And that's, I figured wait, we'd that's go. Wait, that's easy. That's easy. It's a little bit chilly right oh, now, but right. I, I think I got us to set up by some fire. Yeah. So we should be able to this is see. This is a big, so yeah, let's bundle up. and let's fancy food yeah. cart. <laughs> All right, man. I'll see you there in a All minute. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, bye bye. Pick whatever you want. Let's try not to get the same place. Okay, I'm. A, I can do that. Okay, and then we'll meet back here and try we'll it out. See, we'll see who gets what. <laughs> we'll see who gets the best food. You know, you know what? I'm also thinking. So I'm, I'm starting this health kick too. So. We'll see. I think I will have the best food that's still healthy and still delicious. You, you're on a health kick. Uh-huh. I'm gonna get a cheese, a bacon cheeseburger. Let's do the street pad thai then. Sure. Can you do the gluten-free, actually, let's do the gluten-free pad thai. Sure. So I gotta try the fries, PBJ fries. I'll do the steak. I'll, I'll do I'll, the steak. Oh, I got lots of options. Wow. You told me to order whatever I wanted to order, right? Ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's gonna be delicious. All right, what did I get here? Oh, these. Because <laughs> you wanted healthy food. These are my PBJ fries. <laughs> no, I would have. Oh. <laughs> You're on a health kick. Uh huh. How much, what, what all did she get? I was thinking about both of us, Carnell. Oh, I thought we were just supposed to order what we wanted to eat. <laughs> so I got gluten-free pad thai with tofu and chicken. And I also got tacos. I didn't get enough tacos for both of us. Oh, that looks actually okay. delicious. Yes, and it's gluten all yada yada, gluten-free. Uh, we've got chicken, this is Peruvian chicken okay, uh, from Chicken and Guns, and it's got a spicy sauce on it. And wow. I got a salad instead of okay. potatoes, because I got... Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of... What's our rating scale today? Oh, you know what? I thought about this this morning. I think it should be cartwheels. Cartwheels? Yes. Well, I don't know if I'll be making any cartwheels today. <laughs> Get it. What's All the right, fun food carts have been in Portland for over 100 years. Okay. And so they've always been sort of a main staple. Basically, they went, really sort of blew up back in the, in the Great Recession. The great thing about almost all these sites is that they're doing this stuff when you order it, it's fresh. So where have you traveled? So I've only been to six, seven places internationally. Only six or seven? Yes. My first, not my first, my, no, not my third. Third, I had a trip five years ago to Bora Bora. We had a hut over the water. 
That is awesome. For two weeks. You want to try this Peruvian chicken? Uh, I'm going to pass on the Peruvian chicken because I, I got some chicken too. You don't want just a bite of the Peruvian chicken? I'm going to hold tight. I'll have some of that salad though. This looks good. Is this bacon in here? No, I don't think they trick you like that. I think it's like a fruit. What kind of fruit is it? Oh no, that's a carrot. That can't be a carrot. That's a carrot. Okay. That's not a carrot. Hey, chicken and guns. Is this a carrot? Yes, that is. It uh, is? A rainbow carrot, a purple carrot. Okay, thank you. Yes. Have you met any students from any of these countries? You know, I always say when I connect with with international students, I, like I learn a lot about a new perspective, a new way of doing things. Uh, mm -hmm. My taste buds get elevated. Yep. There are times when I watch TV and I see a cooking show and they're traveling all over the world. I'm like, now that would actually be interesting to try. Mm -hmm. I, I would try it. Yep. Like, I don't like don't, Peruvian chicken. I didn't say I didn't like Peruvian chicken. I'm just saying. I just said I didn't want Peruvian chicken. I'm just saying. The pad thai. I do cartwheels. How so? It's just so flavorful. Like, I don't even know. That drumstick is all you. I'm gonna just grab it. Yes. It's good. Right? Mm-hmm. You can't go wrong with seasoned chicken. I know, and it's got crispy on it, and, and look, you ain't even put it down yet. <laughs> so I've got one thing that neither of us have tried yet, uh, the chili green beans. You know, I don't have to pass on the chili green beans because it's going to be spicy. Remember the last time about spiciness? Oh! Oh, spicy. Stop. Okay, it's just a green bean though. With chili. But it's just got a little, a few chili flakes. I don't think it's hot. But it's warm. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> is, is it really spicy? No, I'm faking it. Okay. You should okay. try it. How am I getting roped in? I got a little, I got a little they kick. Got a little kick. I got a little kick. <laughs> I got some trivia questions. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Um, if you can't answer it, but I can, I get the point. And whoever gets it right gets an opportunity to ask first the next time. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'll start. These are all people who found inspiration, but in what country? Mark Twain, Edith Wharton, George Orwell, Tennessee Williams, and William Burroughs. <laughs> I'm thinking, uh -oh. like, I'm, no. you've run out of time. How, <laughs> we, 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 we just changing the rules again. <laughs> okay, I was go ahead. Say so England. England. Okay. Or Britain. You say England. My guess is the United States. What's what's the answer? Morocco. Morocco. So, the question is, who wrote these words? America is my country, but Paris is my hometown. Oh, um, Ernest Hemingway. You hit that button over there. <laughs> <laughs> but I said it with such confidence. Gertrude Stein. Oh. Gertrude Stein. Okay. Duh. Soccer is popular in Portland. Oh, have you gone to a soccer game yet? No. Are you for, dude, we're going to a soccer game. Okay, let me tell you. Wow. Soccer is the only sport I know, know how to play, know how to understand, Seriously? know. It is, you say? It is. It's the only one I really know because I played it growing up. That's cool. What position? I was, uh, I played uh, defense at the back. I can't even know what they were. <laughs> I played defense. It was on the Are you back sure you side played? of the What position on defense? What, what, it doesn't matter now. <laughs> so, soccer is popular in Portland, and at Reed as an intramural sport, which country has won the most FIFA World Cup titles? Brazil. Wow. How do you know that? Oh, I'm sorry, you just, okay. 
Which country has the most living languages? I was gonna say, like, like South Africa has, there's so, there's so many different languages in South Africa that are spoken, like. And I'm guessing it's either in the continent of Africa or China. Huh, am I close? You can't cheat. <laughs> I'm not. And they said, hey, <laughs> so. Papua New Guinea? Yep, it's Papua New Guinea. See there? What is in Borsche? 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 Borsche. And where does it come from? What region or country? Oh my gosh. You so, know what Borsche is? Well, I'm about to guess. See, I know what Borsche is. You mean the Russian soup? <laughs> I think that's one to one then, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. We need to, we need to. We got to brush up on this. If you had to pick a favorite from both of our plates, what would it be? Peruvian chicken? No. BKK Thai. So how many cartwheels would you give it? Um, 10. 10 cartwheels? Uh -huh. Out of 10 cartwheels. And the sauce that goes with it? So for me, what I nibbled on the most was the, um, the chicken and the burger. Uh -huh. I thought the burger was legit, but I knew I'd get full on it. And so my next favorite was definitely the chicken. The Peruvian um, chicken always is a... Oh man. You know what, actually, the potatoes and the sauces, you can mix people in the different restaurants. Exactly. So I would give it um, five cartwheels out of six jumping jacks. That's apples and oranges. I you, can, you can't put apples it's and oranges together. It's a food cart. It's a festival of nations. A little this, a little that. I'm just mixing it up. All right. I don't know. What, that doesn't help our viewers right now figure <laughs> out whether or not they should be coming to food cart. So, so then they need to come and decide for themselves. Oh, that's true. Okay. <laughs> that's, all right. That's all right. Make all. All right. You ready to box this up and get out of here? Oh yeah. Okay, I'm let's so do it. Cool, I could just sit here for a moment. Uh, I think we'll have to. Uh, I'm ready okay. to go. <laughs>